Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, this is Brian again. Uh, got another project here I was going to show you. It's, it's pretty quick, simple, but it's a, it's a problem that occurs pretty commonly. Um, before we get started, uh, we're going to talk about safety. Uh, make sure you wear safety glasses uh, when needed, uh, appropriate safety wear, uh, no shock hazard, pressure hazard, things of that nature. Uh, as I've said before, this is a working shop, so there's going to be times I may have to stop the video to go do what I need to do, come back, uh, but usually I try to run through the video non-stop. So i got a customer who says, i uh, got a pressure washer, and whenever I try to pull start it, it, it's like it's locked up. The motor's locked. You can't pull it. And uh, first thing I ask him is, did the machine roll over on its side, upside down, whatever the case may be? Usually the answer is no, no, nothing happened, but that's, I already know what the situation is. Um, what will happen is if you, if you allow the machine to roll over, if it's not secured in your van or truck, whatever, the machine rolls over, and when it does, <coughs> the fuel, the float will open and allow fuel into the carburetor. It runs through the intake and into the cylinder. Now, when it runs into the cylinder, it runs down to the bottom, and into the crank. Now, the reason why you can't pull it, it's locked, is because the cylinder has liquid inside. You have gasoline inside of this cylinder here, and you cannot compress a liquid. So when you try to pull, that piston's trying to come up, and it hits that little bit of liquid that's in there, and it, it's just like hitting steel. It, it's not gonna go anywhere. It can't go anywhere because, again, you can't compress liquid. So that's one issue. The second issue is gasoline goes down into the uh, crank. And I'm going to show you something here real quick. Uh, I'll make a mess, but the best way to know if this is what's occurring on yours is put it somewhere, cardboard or something underneath the machine, take the oil plug off, and it's just going to kind of Hold on. It's going to come gushing out. You see that? You see how thin that is? See how thin that is? All right. So what it is, you now have gasoline mixing with your oil inside of the crank. Now, what that means to you, yeah, you could run it if you cleaned out the cylinder, but your oil is so thin now and it's full of gasoline that's going to wash your bearings and you're going to wear out this engine pretty quick. So you need to get this out of here. Not to mention with that amount of gas in there, um, I would imagine there's a possibility of uh, maybe a fire hazard. I, I don't know. I, it just it's, If it was meant to be that way, they would have done that way from the factory. So we want to get this oil out of here. So there's two ways you can do it. One, pull the plug out and put a suction device in, suck the oil out. The other is take this bolt right here out and the oil just runs out. Uh, I have a suction device that I use, so I don't have to take this off because even taking this out, it's going to dump oil everywhere, which it's already doing uh, from where I took it out. So that's going to be the first thing I do is I'm going to take this off, drain the oil, I'm going to fill it with new oil, and that's not going to be the only time we do that. Once we put that oil in there and get everything ready to go, we're going to run it for about five or six minutes. Uh, then we're going to stop it, take this oil back out, because even even draining it, there's still a residue of gasoline in there. Now I just want to make sure that we don't have it, uh, the oil is going to be too thin. So we'll drain it a second time, and then once we drain it a second time, we're going to refill it with our fresh oil. We should be good to go there. Now, before we get too far, what do we do with the locked engine? So what you want to do, you're going to pull your spark plug wire. And there's your spark plug right down in there. Let me get something to point with instead of my big fat finger. So there's your spark plug right there. So what you're going to do is you're going to take that spark plug out. Once you get the spark plug out, you're going to take this unit somewhere where it doesn't matter if oil gets 
on the ground or whatever the case may be. And then w once you have that plug out, you're not going to stand here beside the machine like you normally would and pull this. Because if you do, you're going to get shot right in the crotch with a mix of gasoline and oil right out of that cylinder where the spark plug goes. So you're going to stand off to the side. The engine is going to be turned into the off position and you're going to pull and pull and pull three or four times and when you do you're going to see oil gas shoot out of this hole where the spark plug is and it's going to shoot a good four or five feet out so wherever you don't want to be beside your car or your house or something you're just shooting oil all over everything and again like i say you don't want to stand where i'm at at this point because it's going to shoot you right in the crotch so you're going to stand off to the side with that spark plug out and you're going to pull full stroke you don't have to pull it like you started but you're going to give it a good pull and it's going to spit oil and, and gas and everything out of here. Now you're going to do that <clears throat> until you see virtually nothing shooting out of that cylinder. Then at that point, while that's sitting there, then you're going to come back over here and you're going to put in your oil. So you're going to drain it. After you drain it, you're going to pull your plug. After you pull your plug, you're going to pull your pull start four or five times three, four, five, whatever it takes to keep this oil from uh, spitting out of here. When you don't see any oil coming out, then we're going to stop. You're going to come back over here, fill your oil. Okay, so those are the steps. <clears throat> At that point, you put your cap back on. You're going to come back up here again. You're going to give it one or two more pulls on your cord to, re to, to make sure there's nothing coming out. Then you're going to take your spark plug. After you take your plug out, Here's, here's a plug I got sitting here. When you pull the plug out, you're going to see that it's all wet and oily on here. Okay? You're going to see all kinds of it's just going to be wet. So you're going to want to clean this off. You can use uh, a little bit of gasoline and a, wet, uh, and a rag, and you're going to clean it and just wipe it all down real good to make sure it's dry and free of oil. Once you've done that, <clears throat> you're going to take your plug, put it back in. And you're not going to over tighten this, okay? You're just going to put it in, you're going to tighten it up a little bit beyond a tweak, okay? You don't want to crank down on it. Once you've got the plug back in, you're going to put your plug wire back on. It just pushes on. And when the plug wire is put in, push it tight. I just got it just sitting there. So push it in tight. Once you've got it pushed in tight, you've got oil back into the engine. Then you're going to take it outside. You're going to hook water up to your pump. You don't have to put a pressure hose on it. You don't have to put the pressure hose, but you do got to put the water hose on it. And you're going to turn the water on so water's coming out. Now, you're going to start this thing. And it may take two or three pulls to get it started, but once it starts, it's going to smoke like you're spraying for mosquitoes from the muffler. It's going to smoke like you would not believe. That's normal because even though you've drained all of this out and you've cleaned all of this, you still got excess inside of the cylinder and inside of the muffler, okay? And all of that's gonna wanna burn off and it's gonna smoke. It's gonna look like you got a bonfire going full of old leaves. Just let it run for about 10, 15 minutes and it's, it's gonna, the smoke level's gonna die down. You may actually see some oil leaking out of here and making this wet or spitting all over the ground or whatever the case may be. That's normal. Just let it run for about 10-15 minutes. That thing's going to smoke. Then you're going to shut it off. After you shut it off, remember I told you earlier we're going to take and drain the oil again. So this would be the original was drained out. Now we're draining what we just put in. And you're going to refill it again. After you refill it again, you're, you're done. Put your cap back on. Start it back up. Make sure everything's running. It may still smoke a little bit. And occasionally over the next two or three uses, you're going to get a little smoke, or you're going to smell burning oil. That's normal. Best thing to do, don't let it roll over. If it does roll over, get it back upright as quickly as possible. That way you don't have to deal with this. Um, it's not a big deal to do this. It's just the fact that you have to end up doing it because of something simple like it wasn't secured. But that's pretty much uh, all you got to do on this. Not a big concern, not, not a lot of work involved. Uh, if you got any questions about... Uh, uh, what we've gone over today, if you got a, a request on something you want to see done, drop it in the comments and I'll see what I can do. I appreciate your time. Thank you.